Alright, yo, what's good, guys? Um, I was stupid, and when I uh, record this battle, I didn't record my uh, my narration, so I'm doing this right now post game. So yeah, if I uh, I don't remember what happened because I recorded this yesterday, so we'll just have to see for ourselves. Alright, so I predicted him leading off with Levani. I remember that. And let's see, or Medan. So I just go for a drill rock predicting the rapid dash, but he didn't even come with it for some reason, so I don't even know, dude. And then since he stayed in, I know he can't do shit. And I assumed he would switch this time. But it doesn't even matter because this nigga's dead as hell. Alright, and I obviously can't stand on this, so I go to my main rock period. And I knew he'd uh, flare bliss. I think at this point I realized that he's scarfed or something because. The way he's switching out and making it pretty apparent. And definitely ridiculous of Annie. So, alright, make a horn and one shot that thing. I don't even mad though. Alright, he goes into Rapid Dash. This is what gave off to me that he's scarf, because it's like if you just switch that, why would you come back in, you know? So I go into Dust Cop just to be safe, see what he's about to do. Low kick. I wasn't predicting that to be honest, but I wasn't even mad, so. And take his opportunity to set up a trick room. He goes into Metang. And I don't know what he's about to do because I've never seen Metang before, so I just blew the whistle. And he sets up rocks, which is what I expected. Alright. And I go to my man Cloudwitzer because I know, especially with this thing being burned, and it's that big, you know, steel can't do shit to me. And I was right. And now this gives me free reign and dark pulse, so I do. Alright, and then he'll probably end up going into. I can't tell what that thing all the way to the right is. Okay, well, yeah, go, maybe he's trying to go in the goal and set up a uh, fucking wings policy. Or what the fuck, what kind of berry is that? Hold the fuck up. I don't know what kind of berry he's rocking. But I knew he'd slugger punch, but I knew. What's his face from that? Cloud was here. Goes to tan growth. Did I, do I just let this thing die? Oh, I remember. I tried to go for the 6-0, and uh, I think this guy, yeah, I tried to go for the 6-0 and this dude, I get all cocky, and I almost lose the game because of it. But yeah, I easily take out his tank growth, I think he must have no special investment. And then, yeah, this is the point where I really mess up. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna 6 this dude, so I switch out into something else, and then he starts fucking me up. Because it turns out, nothing really wants to take a flare blitz, at least not with the health that they all have. Cause yeah, he pretty much dies. From my man dust clubs. So I go to my man Rhyperior, which was a misplay. And I could have won this a lot easier if I didn't go into him. What I should have done is just let Dust Clubs die, come in with Rhyperior, and then I would have been able to live one and just earthquake him. That's what I should have done. But thank god this dude had life orb. So I was able to stall him out of that. But yeah. Not even my man Dragalgi can live it. Yeah, alright, and then, um, pretty much the rest of the thing, I got that poison just to speed things up a bit. But, yeah, pretty much the rest of the battle just consists of me letting all my shit die. Because I'm trying to get this thing to die, poison. And my theory is which one does clops, thinking that the poison would rack up, but I guess it didn't. I had a mistake how it worked. I went to this knowing he play blitz. Which, I don't know why I did, because, um, no, I did that purposely so I could stall him out of shit. And then, at this time, then, from here, it's pretty much GG. I missed up a few points, but, you know, it worked out fine in the end. So, alright, yeah, I proved that I don't get too cocky, because otherwise they'll get fucked over. Alright, peace to the next video.